Hi, welcome back. It is time for an Ipsy Glam Bag, and we're doing reviews. And this time I've updated it to include the actual, like, how many stars it has overall. Because for some reason, I just didn't put that in the last video. So we're updating, we're getting better, we're growing, we're thriving. Let's dig in. Glam Bag first. This is $14 not value. It's $14 to buy. The value is obviously going to be greater than that. I found it weird. They made this the bag this month. What I know about this bag is um, this is a refreshments bag. So I think they had an overstock of refreshments bag. So I want to say I got this years ago, um, this bag with refreshments inside of it. And so they just repurpose it. That's fine. I actually really love drawstring bags. I like using them as little um, prize baggies when I'm in the classroom with kiddos, but um, you can think of a million things. This would actually be really good as a travel bag and putting your uh, like dirty undies and stuff in. <laughs> sure, okay. Um, <laughs> first up, we have some ASMR. This is a <laughs> Leaf eyeshadow palette. Let me go to my notes. Um, an eyeshadow palette, I describe to you what an eyeshadow palette is. It is, I've already opened it, a plastic white container. This is called the Night and Day Eyeshadow Palette. It retails for $32. I could only find this palette on Leaf's website. I think it's Leaf's Lashes or on Ipsy. And so I had limited review space and what I would have preferred is having on Alter Sephora. You can't always pick that. Um, so I went to Ipsy because Leaf did not have the reviews on there and Ipsy gave it a 4.3 overall. Um, with Ipsy though, you get people that are reviewing and they haven't even tried it. They're just like, because once upon a time, a long time ago, I wasn't, uh, Ipsy used to give you points for doing reviews. They from what I've seen, no longer do that. And so people used to just go on and be like, to get their points for the view, um, didn't use. And like, that's a review. So it's not a true review. So what I did is I went and like made sure someone used it and then wrote the review. So let me show you the colors first. It's very pretty, very neutral, browns, your typical colors. This is a Britney palette for sure. Um, five stars, the person said, very blend, and many people said this, not just one person, but very blendable and doesn't crease. So they liked the shades. Um, but then when the one stars uh, I was reading, a lot of them were like, it came broken. Couldn't use that because that's not giving you a review. Um, although that sucks, right? But the one star don't like the colors and doesn't blend. So very opposite. So people just have different preferences in eyeshadows. I don't love the package. I feel like for a $32 palette, there should be a mirror in here. You know, this feels like a drugstore palette. That's just a complaint. If it doesn't have a mirror, it feels drugstore to me. I do like the minimal leaf on the front though. Uh, great. I'm going to pass this on because I don't need to keep hoarding. I already have way too many eyeshadows. Um, so that will be a little freebie gift for someone or like my mom or something. Um, moving on. That was a full size. That was the only full size we got in the glam bag. What's next? Briogeo. I really like this brand. This is the Style and Treat, and it's an air dry cream. I gotta go on Sephora for this one. Love me some Sephora products because I just trust what Sephora and Ulta have. Like, they don't just like let anyone sell their products. Um, Briogeo is a very large brand, though. Uh, a leave in soft cream for heatless styling and provides 24 hour frizz reduction for an effortless look. Great. It has a 4.7 on Sephora. The reviews, mm -hmm. um, five star. Better than Way leaves hair silky and tames frizz. I love Way hair care. I, that's a compliment for them. And then the one star is it has a strong chemical smell and leaves like a gross film in your hair. I will say most people, because it has a 4.7, like most people liked it. Just a few people didn't. And this is a $4.88 sample. First Aid Beauty Bronze Glow Drops. $7.47 for this tiny little sample size. Mm -mm -mm. I've never had... Have I? I 
take that back. I've had one product, it was from Ipsy, that was like a bronzy uh, sheer gel that I didn't like, but I still use it sometimes. So I'm excited to try this one. This is on Ulta's website a 4.8, so it has a lot of good reviews. The best review says it's, oh, I'm on the wrong one. The best review says it blends well, it's glowy, buildable so you can make it darker if you want. Um, and then it also is not sticky or oily. And on the flip side, the one star review said super oily made them break out. Uh, different skin types. I'm sure I'm someone that's prone to breaking out. It might make me break out. Um, and they said it's a copycat for a drunk elephant, but drunk elephant is better. I'm excited to try it. I don't have drunk elephant uh, bronze drops, but I have their cheek uh, color blush drops, rosy drops. I forget what it's called, but I really like that from Drunk Elephant. So I'm hoping I like this. It just doesn't, it, like it doesn't sound like it's gonna be very runny or anything. And then by Real Chemistry, we have the Fresh Start Foaming Cleanser. This sample size is $2.86. Now Ipsy sells this sample size for $3. So um, it's only worth $2.86 though. It's a non-drying foaming cleanser and removes makeup, oil, hydrates, conditions, and leaves your skin smooth. Rinse with cool or warm water. We, we knew that. Um, 4.7 on Amazon. Amazon, they sell it on Amazon. I do my best. Like, I, if it says um, verified purchase, like, that's the one I'm going to really take into account. If it's saying incentivize, which some of these, like, only had incentivize, I'll get to that product. But some of them, if they say incentivize, I, like, I won't even look at it. I'm like, mm. But anyways, <laughs> where am I going with this? 4.7 on Amazon, the five star review reviews said it's gentle, moisturizing, removes your makeup and smells really good. That was the overall thing, like it smells really good. And the one star review, <laughs> there were only two. There was one and two star reviews and actually they were incentivized. So I trusted those, <laughs> but they said it had, um, they've had really good bottles. And then for some reason they had a really bad one. Um, both of them said they had a good experience first and the second purchase, it was really bad. And that one said they couldn't even get the product out of the tube. But sounded like it went bad. And the other one was like, it smelled completely different. It didn't smell good at all. Um, and so I'm thinking there was like some kind of weird, maybe like manufacturing problem or uh, maybe they got expired, but I just found that odd. The only one and two star reviews, both of them had a good product and then a bad one the next time. So that feels a little sketch to me. Um, but yeah, moving on <laughs> from what I read, the little mini size here is pretty good. Um, Dallas and James, the last thing, this is worth $9 and 10 cents. It is tiny. I found this on Amazon. They sell it on Amazon. It's not just like one of those random like off sellers. Um, it's supposed to smooth, brighten, and strengthen your eye skin, which as an aging woman, I can appreciate that. The five star, there was only one review on Amazon and it was a verified purchase and it was a man and he was like, I didn't get my wife anything for Valentine's Day. And it was like a couple days before. He was like, I saw on um, social media that this was really good. I'm wondering if he saw maybe like an Ipsy bag or something. And he said he bought it and his wife absolutely loved it. So the full size is $65. Like that's a pretty good Valentine's Day gift. Um, and then the one star, I had to jump over to Ipsy um, cause I was the only other place that had reviews. It said it's too thin and it doesn't smell enough. So if you like a really lightweight eye cream that doesn't have a strong scent, this might be your jam. It's watermelon dream, so it's supposed to smell like watermelons. So that was the Ipsy bag, and the total, grand total, is $56.31. So $14 to buy, $56 to get. I'll be honest, this is probably one of my least favorite Ipsys that I've had thus far, um, but it's because I don't wear like, I think if I wore eyeshadow, I'd be like, this is so nice, you know? Um, I'm super excited about this, the bronze drops, definitely. And I'm very excited about the eye cream because I just love eye creams and my eyes get very dry and I have to have them. Oh, something with that noise and I just threw that one in there. Oh, giving me goosebumps. Gross. 
So it was an okay month, um, but like personally, I've had better. <laughs> Last up we have, let me do a little spin for you. Moving on to Boxy Charm. This is a $30 box. Is this gonna make you guys sick? $30, but you get five full size products. So let's open. Um, Number one, we have an eyeshadow palette. Why did I not open this before? An eyeshadow palette, <laughs> no. This is brushes, you use this for eyeshadow. This is a brush palette. This is a brush set. That is the word I'm looking for, a brush set. This is by La Russe Beauty. Um, this is $42 on Ipsy. It's the only place I could find it is on Ipsy. I couldn't even find it on La Russe's website. And so I think it might be made for Ipsy. It's pink like Ipsy. I'm thinking it's Ipsy, BoxyCharm, whatever. Uh, $42. Overall on Ipsy is a 4.5 review. Again, I don't love like looking at reviews on Ipsy because you get those people that are just like five stars, haven't used it, one star, not even opened it. You know what I mean? Um, but it, we're here, it has a 4.5, couldn't find anywhere else. Five star, handy set, and nice drugstore quality comparison. When they said that, they meant like they use Profusion and Profusion brushes are nice and they liked it. Okay, they're soft but they're stiff. And so that makes sense because the one stars all said they're really stiff. Um, they are. But it is, and the review said it is in a cute bag. It's a wasp. Um, a cute bag indeed. <laughs> um, so that's that one. Next up we have Dr. Brandt. Okay, so this is a, I love Dr. Brandt. This is a serum to highlighter product. And so what does that mean? It's, I think it's just a really thin highlighter. A game changing brightening serum that gives you a touch of iridescence and glass-like skin. Remember how that was so popular? Was it this past year where it's like glass skin? That means she's portless. Actually, this camera gives you a fake visual of glassy skin. Um, I have pores. If I get close, they'll pop out. Um, <laughs> $65 for this. Woo, woo. Dr. Brandt is nice though, again. Um, one star review says clumps and rolls off. Five star says hydrating and glowy. I did notice a lot of the older people liked it more than the younger people, and I feel like I am getting into that older range, and so I'll probably like it. I'm holding on to that. Oh, B, no, that's not it. I'm trying to do this in the order I have it ran down. Be your own desire. That's the brand. Liquid lipstick in the color straightforward. This is worth $18. This is one of those products that's only on this website or Ipsy. So not that like, that's not a terrible thing. Like small businesses, it's probably a small business, right? It's not easy to get in like bigger like box stores. But then I only had Ipsy to go off of reviews. So that's why. Um, I've not seen this. Normally, Ipsy reviews are in that four range, four to five stars. Never five stars, but like four something. They said a three one, which tells me people did not love this. Um, but it only had 33 reviews. So I think this is a newer product that they put out. So what I had to work with is um, five stars said it was sticky. And everyone hated that the color was so dark and that for skin tones purposes, it was just like, it comes on and doesn't come off pink, it comes off brown. But the five star, I only found a couple of them said, um, they use it as a lip liner and then they put in a lighter shade in the middle and which I think would be really pretty if I used liquid lipstick, which I don't. And one lady said, my daughter uses it for her cheer competitions. So, you know, that will be passed on to someone else. Um, Two more products we have, Il Maquillage Black Card Mascara for $29. This is lift, curl, and lengthen. It's supposed to like treat every lash individually, so you get a lot of lashes. 4.4 um, on their website. I love their website because they put the one-star reviews on there. They left all of them on, everything. So like I trusted that. Um, all the one-stars said it was clumpy. So that's again preference. I actually like clumpy mascara, so I wouldn't be a one-star on that. Um, and the five star said it's really easy to come off and it does like get a lot of your lashes individually. And so I think I'm gonna hold on to this. I do feel like I would like him. The very last thing, very last thing is by Laura Geller. Now here's 
the thing with this that I found. This is a discontinued product. They no longer sell it. It was on clearance on Laura Geller's website for $25 and now it's gone. Ipsy has it shown as a $45 palette. I'm keeping it at that $25 mark because that's how much it was and that's how much I think it's worth at this point, right? Um, and so when I do my value, it's gonna be a little lower than what probably other people have it because I'm using the value that like it is, you know? Uh, but it's a Wildflower La Wishes eyeshadow palette. It's very like warm toned. You got oranges and yellows and browns. Um, and that's where the five and one star comes into play because five star says it's really beautiful It blends well, but it's only really good for warm colored skin tones and the one star said their skin tone Only three of the colors showed up and so I can see why that's an issue for some people um, I do love Laura Geller eyeshadow palettes. I think I'm gonna hold on to this one I'm not positive yet though because I have so many I'm holding on to I just spit everywhere. I hope you didn't see that <laughs> Um, and so total value of this one is $179. Um, and it was a $30 box. I think the boxy charm this month was worth it. I do. I'm excited to try them. Am I super stoked about the lipstick? No, but I don't wear lipstick. Um, but I'm really excited to try these two. And these two alone are well over that $30, you know? P.S. If you ever want to get your own Ipsy, I am an affiliate. I've never been paid by them, but I do have a referral link. And so if you're sitting here and you've been living under a rock and you're like, I have no idea what Ipsy is, but that looks really fun. Let me try it. I do have a link. I believe I get like $5 if you click on it and then order at Ipsy. So if you want to support me through that way, feel free. I usually don't remember to put the link below, but um, Brittany, this is your reminder. Put the link below. I think overall, I'm not like... This has been my least favorite month I've done in a really long time for Ipsy. And so I, please leave in the comments, what did you think? If you get Ipsy, like kind of what were your thoughts and like the products you got? Do you feel like it was kind of like a so-so uh, month? Uh, let me know. And let me know if you like this style of um, doing it. Or do you want me to go back to like blind reviews where I just like pull it out and it's a first impression, you know? Tell me what you think and I will see you guys in a very soon a video very soon. Yeah, okay, bye. P.S. I came from a baby shower and that's why I look like um, nicer than normal. <laughs>